for Union Day on the Newlywed Game. And here's your host for the Newlywed Game, Bob Eubank. Thank you very much, and welcome to Reunion Day on the Newlywed Game. Well, tonight's Oscar night here on ABC, when the Academy Awards will be presented to your favorite actors and actresses. So today, we've brought back four of your favorite couples to play the Newlywed Game. Maybe this time, win the top award. That's the grand prize. Now, the race towards that goal will start right after this message. All right, gentlemen, here we go with the Newlywed Game. Uh, gentlemen, will your wife say she fell in love with you first, or you fell in love with her first? Glenn? Oh, wow. That's a good one. Pardon me? That's a good one. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely a good one. Um, I think she'd say that uh, she fell in love with me she first. She fell in love with you first. That was beautiful, Ham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good. Really? Oh. It's a toss up. I'm kind of, kind of equal. I'd say, uh, I'd be liberal. I'll say I, I did it. I'll you fell in love with her first. Wayne? Well, off a loud and ego statement, I guess. Obviously, she fell in love with she me first. She fell in love with you first, Rick. Well, uh, mine's easy. It took her two years to get me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your answer, Rick? No, she, she fell in love with she me She fell in love with you first. Next question, gentlemen. In the car you drive the most, how far will your wife say you can go on a gallon of gas? Really? Oh. Uh, 15 miles. 15 miles, right? Well, I guess it'd have to be about uh, 35 miles. 35 miles, Rick. Uh, the way she drives? In the car you drive the most. How far will your wife say you can go in a gallon of gas? Oh, I can go, oh, about 25. 25, Glenn? About 20. 20, all right. 20. Here's the last of our five point questions. Gentlemen, which of the following famous geographic locations will your wife say gives the best physical description of your very first necking spot. Carlsbad Caverns, Sahara Desert, Cumberland Gap, or the Okefenokee Swamp? <laughs> Wayne? Oh. Trying to remember where it was. That first necking spot. That Which first one's necking right? spot? Right. Uh, Carlsbad Caverns. Carlsbad I guess. Caverns. It was dark. Right. That was the main thing. Fine, Rick. I'd go on. It was real dark with no lights at all. It was Carlsbad. Carlsbad Caverns. Mm -hmm. Glenn? What? Do, you got to do them again. Oh, definitely. I really, that, that's a mind blower, all them numbers. Wow. And all them places. Wow. Okay. You ready? Yes. You're not nervous? No. Oh, okay. not me. No. Here we go, Glenn. Carlsbad Caverns. Got that one? Yeah. Good. Sahara Desert. Yeah. Cumberland Gap. Or the Okefenokee Swamp. Got to be Carl's Bad Caverns. <laughs> Got to be. You're sure? I hope so. Yes. Really? I hate to do it to you, but could you do it over again? <laughs> okay. Carl's Bad Caverns, Sahara Desert, Cumberland Gap, or Okefenokee Swamp. Not familiar with either one of them. <laughs> Take. Maybe I could add one for you. <laughs> number, try number the first one. I don't know. Oh, okay. Carlsbad Caverns was the first one. That's a good. That's okay, good fine. That one. Huh? Good as any. You don't want me to go over the rest of them? No. All, All right, right, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, we'll be right back now to reunite the newlyweds, and we'll see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Okay, gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards, and now I'll have them in your lap. Girls, did you fall in love with your husband first, or did he fall in love with you first? Donna? <laughs> That's easy. I chased him all the way. <laughs> I fell in love with you him. You fell in love with him first. Rick said it took you two years, and you fell in love with him first. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's easy. I chased him all the way, too. I you fell in love, fell with, in love with him first. He predicted that she did first, right? Why <laughs> well, <that's> you? <laughs> really? He fell in love with me first. He fell in love with you. He said what that he did first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think Glenn fell in love with me first. He fell in love with you. He said that she fell in love first. Oh, Glenn! Oh, how beautiful. How oh, tremendous. I was like a big hero and everything. Yeah. You told me you loved me before I told you. Well, you gotta do that. <laughs> Part of the line. You gotta do it, yeah. 
But you're wrong. I don't believe you. <laughs> Next question, girls. In the car your husband drives most, how far can he go on a gallon of gas? Mary Lou? Oh, <laughs> the way he drives not very far. Um, in the car he drives most. Right. I'll say about um, 13, 14 miles. Now, which 13. one do you say? Okay, 13 miles. 13 yeah. miles. Wayne said he can drive 35 miles. <laughs> what car? The Opal. Are you kidding? It's a flatback car. It gets <laughs> great mileage. Not the way you drive. I get 35. You get 13. Well, just because I pretend it's a Porsche. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. Either. Really? I'll say 20. 20. Your husband predicted he can get 15 miles. <laughs> Certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you handle all the situations? I'm the, I wear the pants. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you would look funny in a green dress. Right? So, so would you. Uh, right. <laughs> Rick Rucker, I know. Okay, next question, girls. Which of the following famous geographic locations gives the best physical description of your very first necking spot with your husband? Cumberland Gap, Sahara Desert, Okefenokee Swamp, or Carlsbad Cavern? Shirley, remember that first necking spot? Which of the following? Sure. Cumberland Gap, Sahara Desert, Okefenokee Swamp, or Carlsbad Cavern? I'll say the Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. Billy said it was just like the Carlsbad Cavern. Where? What? Where? In the city? Sahara Desert? Well, I don't know. You said it? Well, okay. You said a hush. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not going to mess with him anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid of him. He's got a hush. <laughs> Chris? Carlsbad Cavern. Carlsbad Caverns, that's your answer? Cavern. All right. I Gwen, would say so. Gwen predicted you say it was just like the Carlsbad Caverns. That's all. <laughs> Donna. Could you just repeat the first one again? Just the first one. Yeah. I think I got the others. Oh, okay. The first two. The first two. Yeah. All right. Uh, Cumberland Gap. Got that one? Yeah. And the Sahara Desert. No, Carlsbad. Oh. <laughs> Rick said you was there, Carlsbad. Oh, you couldn't I don't know. Mary Lou? Oh, I think this is sad in the dark, but he talks about um, the Marines. And the Marines had some kind of an expedition through the Okefenokee Swamp. So I'm going to say that just Okey because Okey it's connected swamp. with his Marine right. history. Wayne said it was just like the Carlsbad Cavern. I don't Dom? know where you were the first night. It was, was kind of dark. Swamp. You might have been in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your answers. The 10-point question today. We'll be right back with Just the Wise to see how well they predict what their husbands will say on the newlywed game in just a moment. But first, since it's Oscar time, we have Johnny Jacobs with some award-winning gifts for our reunion day couple. John, the Oscar looks good. Thank you, Robert. I'm happy to be today's presenter because we have the Presto Spray Steam Iron for the Reunion Day Wise. With no stick Teflon surface, they'll have smoother, easier ironing even on starch fabric. Just color match push buttons to dial for desired ironing. The husbands will be right in the swing in their Harbor Master raincoat. This anywhere coat is stained in water repellent. Liner zips out for spring in smart new shades. Just right from Harbor Master. Today's second place winning couple will receive a complete Canon Monticello linen collection, a dozen no iron sheets, flat and fitted, 12 pillowcases, and two dozen towels and washcloths, plus two bath mats from Canon Monticello. And each of our reunion couples will receive the brand new Color Pack 2 Land camera from Polaroid. Color pictures in a minute using quick loading film pack. Electronic shutter makes perfect pictures automatically. Now back to Bob Eubanks and our lovely newlywed wife. 
Thank you very much. Our girls, your husbands have been secluded off stage, and now it's your turn to predict how they will answer these 10-point questions. So here we go with question number one for 10 points. Girls, last evening in that big baseball diamond of romance, will your husband say he gave you the pitch, played out of town, or hid in the locker room? Shirley? Shirley, last evening in that big baseball diamond of romance, will your husband say he gave you the pitch, played out of town, or hid in the locker room? He must have played out of town. He played out of town. Okay, Mary Lou? I think he hid in the locker room. Hid in the locker room? Yeah, he went to bed real early. Donna? Played out of town. Played out of town. Right. No, he didn't do anything, really. <laughs> Chris? I'd say he uh, hid in the locker room. He was asleep when I got home, and he got up for an hour or two and went back to sleep Hid in the locker room. All right, next question, girls. What will your husband say? Was the exact time he was supposed to pick you up for your very first date? Mary Lou? Oh, I'm supposed to remember that far back, hmm? Uh... Well, he was right on time, and I was very surprised because I was getting introduced to his entire family on our first date, and it was 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, huh? Well, we met at a party. Oh, the, this is on the very first date that he did pick you up. I don't even remember when he, It was five years, seven years ago. Five? Well, anyway, I'll say seven. Seven. At night. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had assumed that. I, Chris? Uh, the first date was to, we went to somewhere on a Sunday afternoon, and I think he picked me up in the morning about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Shirley? Well, it was about 10 o'clock at night because I went someplace else, and then he came to the party where I was, and then he took me home and asked my mother and father, and then we went to the party about 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> All right. That's the first date that he picked you up. Yeah. So, okay. It was 10 o'clock at night. Our 25-point bonus question. Girls, what will your husband say is his favorite tart? His favorite tart. Chris? Oh, it has to be boysenberry. Everything needs boysenberry. Boysenberry. But there is such a thing as boysenberry. Shirley? I'll say peach. A peach tart. I don't know. That's all he likes. <laughs> Mary Lou? Well, he likes red raspberry jam, so I guess he'll say red raspberry red tart. Red raspberry tart. He won't eat anything else. No. Donna? Oh, boy. I... I'm sorry, Donna. Uh, I know. You know. <laughs> I just well, stand up here and do my best is all I can do. I know. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll say apple, and if he says peanut butter, I'm just going to blow it. Yeah, Apple. All right, ladies, thank you very much for your answers. <laughs> we'll be right back with our husbands to compare answers on a little bit. Give them just a moment. All right, gentlemen, let's see how well your wife have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. So here's question number one for 10 points. Gentlemen, last evening in that big baseball diamond of romance, did you give your wife the pitch, hide in the locker room, or play out of town? Wayne? Right. You really mean that? I'm supposed to just admit that. Uh, I guess I gave her the pitch. Gave her the pitch? Mary Lou said... You went to bed at 6.30. You hid in the locker room. <laughs> I was tired. Really? <laughs> Uh, I uh, did what? <laughs> did you give your wife the pitch, hide in the locker room, or play out of town? Oh, that's easy. I hid in the locker room. Hid in the locker room. She said you you played out of town, Billy. Because you sure you were late, what? and you didn't pay no attention to me, so you that's might as well have been room. out of town. I that's thought you'd say hit room. in the locker room instead of he hit. I no. didn't understand. No, I did say hit. You said hit. Hid in the locker room or played out of town. See, I didn't understand your first word, see. <laughs> that cost you 10 points. <laughs> 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 
You think this coat would fit you? Too small. You come over here. <laughs> Glenn? Um, I think she'd probably say I played out of town, so I went to work. Played out of town. She said. Glenn, in the locker. you slept most of the time before you went to work. Oh, it's almost like being out of town. <laughs> but you were home. You know, you were like, you know, hit someplace. Oh, what's in the locker room? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Wait, it's too late. Rick? Uh, I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, so I get in bed and I just hide in the bed, so I guess you could say I hid in the locker room. In the locker room. Donna said that uh, you, the card played. Donna, you played out of town. Well, I fell asleep. You were awake watching TV and everything else. You and the dog. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. He's got to sleep with dogs. Well, they're warm. <laughs> Is that right? Well, you know, he says to keep your feet warm. Right, and he puts is. them on the end of the bed. And I know he covers on the end of the bed. You my dogs alone. You blew it. You blew it. <laughs> well, I... Okay. You're playing with TV. Here's the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, what was the exact time you were supposed to pick up your wife for your very first date? Really? Very first date. I remember it clearly. It was. <laughs> oh, it was two years and nine months ago. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hurry with an answer. You want the time? The exact time time that you were supposed to pick up your wife for your very first date. Oh, everybody, seven. Everybody goes at seven. Seven. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you remember you picked me up, go to the past party at 10 o'clock. That was 1030. (laughs) What it was, you saw that? And it was the first day. That cost you 10 points. Wasn't that that one before that? No, it was the first date. I'm sorry. Are you sure are? I don't know. <laughs> I figure you've won three, she's won one, I've lost twice. <laughs> Glenn? Oh, wow. Um, two o'clock. Two o'clock. She said that you picked her up at 9 a.m. When? Nine in the morning that we went all day long, 9 o'clock? No. No, we went to Knott's Berry Farm in the afternoon. But it was a whole day. Oh, no. No, sir. Glenn. Oh, Oh, I didn't call you until 12. It was 9 o'clock, right? It was 9 o'clock. Skunky. Oh. Skunky. Skunky. Oh, Oh, that's always nice. Rick? Oh, shoot. Uh, Well, gee, our first day wasn't really planned. No, the, the uh, first date that you picked her up. Oh, I picked, yeah, well, I picked her up in the first date. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say about um, uh, with an answer, tonight, uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. She said, <laughs> <"Sorry."> <laughs> Wait <a minute. laughs> Well, it was one of those things I was just supposed to kind of show up, so I'm going to have to try to take a stab at the dark uh, sometime after dinner 7.30 7.30 she said it was start stabbing again you 7 it. o'clock what's wrong seven. with you you were over there at 7 o'clock we, it wasn't after dinner yes it was it was not we, we were going over to meet your relatives and it was there at 7 o'clock and you were there right on the nose well, well, thank you very much for your time. answers that was- we'll be back with our big 25 point bonus question to see which couple will win their grand prize in just a moment Gentlemen, here it is, your big 25-point bonus question. For 25 points, gentlemen, what is your favorite tart? Your favorite tart. First couple, number two, Wayne and Mary Lou. Wayne? <laughs> My favorite tart. I don't like pastry. What is your favorite tart? Lemon. Pardon me? Lemon? Mm-hmm. She said your favorite tart would be, can I see the card, please? Red raspberry. Red raspberry. That's what you eat on your toast every morning. That's what you do. That's jam. That's Couple jam. Three, Billy and Shirley, you have 525 to give you three. Billy, get it right, you'll be in the lead. Miss it, you tie for last place. Well, I guess I'm tied for last place. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I say apple. 
Apple. I like all of them. She said your favorite tart is peach. You never eat peach. apples. You always I don't eat peach. Peaches. I don't eat peach. I never eat peach. I'll stick I don't eat peach. I don't eat peach. I don't eat peach. I don't eat peach. Period. You don't like canned peaches and eat them every night? Yeah, but that's not tart. He said tart. Well, tart. I don't know what a tart is now. <laughs> Too. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a word. <laughs> Couple number four, Glenn and Chris, you have 525 and give me 30. Glenn, get it right and you'll be in the lead. Well, I don't even know if they make it. Uh, if they did, I'd eat a boysenberry tart. Boysenberry. Boysenberry. <laughs> 25. Hey, where are you? Come on, Rick and Dookie, 25. Get it right with your grand prize winners today if you miss it in second place. Rick, what is your favorite tart? Uh, it's tough because I like anyway. Uh, Cherry. Cherry. She said your favorite tart is, can I see the card please, Donna? Is apple. That means a couple number four, Glenn and Chris. You're our grand prize winner today. And now, Glenn and Chris, as today's newlywed game grand prize winners, here's the special prize chosen just for you. A beautiful new 1969 stereo and color television combination. <laughs> Yes, Chris and Glenn, it's a beautiful new 1969 Motorola combination color television stereo phonograph and solid state AM FM stereo radio. The perfect home entertainment unit. In beautiful French provincial styling and with elegant sliding doors, this set combines space age solid state reliability with all the other fine quality Motorola features. Truly an achievement in technical design and style. A beautiful world of color, sight, and sound, and it's all yours as Reunion Day winners of the Newlywed Day. Glenn and Chris, congratulations to you for being our winners today on the Newlywed.